Welcome to The Know, I'm Ashley Jenkins, and if you thought 3D printers were cool but largely useless, Local Motors, a US automotive company, would like you to reconsider. The group is currently building the first fully functional 3D printed car at the International Manufacturing Technology Show, which is going on in Chicago until September 13th, and they'll be taking it on a drive this Saturday. The car, called the Strati, will consist of just 40 parts. If, like me, you're not much of a car person, that might not mean much, but this will. Conventional vehicles use more than 20 thousand parts. The bulk of the vehicle is being printed over a 44 hour period, then rapidly assembled and made road ready before its first drive. The group explains, this machine uses a large diameter extrusion head to 3D print objects at high speed, then on the same head it also uses a router to come back and machine surfaces to a more precise specification where required. This means that we can create car scale forms very quickly and freely to machine precision, but without the necessity of forming tools, etc. The mechanical parts won't be 3D printed, unfortunately. Battery, motor, wiring, and suspension are all being sourced instead, which I guess makes sense since 3D printing tech isn't quite up to the level of making combustion engines yet. But this is a huge leap ahead of the Irby, a 2010 3D printing and engineering project from Stratasys and Core Ecologic, which printed the shell but then dropped it over a traditional metal chassis. It's not entirely clear just yet how useful this will be long term, but Local Motors hopes direct digital manufacturing will dramatically improve the ability to prototype vehicle parts without the levels of production tooling that have been required previously, and they even hope to launch a production level 3D printed vehicle for purchase by the general public over the next few months. Would you trust a 3D printed car, or have you already run out to buy a printer and design your own? Let us know what you think of this development in the comments below. Remember, you get the best news in video games, entertainment, and tech right here, so make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel and we'll keep you in the know.